really, really, really excited about this kid. Um, he's one of those guys that we were on early and, and actually, you know, thinking through last year on this day, uh, was on the phone with him, talking to him about Boise State uh, and, and having some great, great dialogue with him and his family. Uh, so his recruiting goes way back and um, obviously built a great relationship with him uh, and his family. You know, he's one of those guys that's been committed to us for a long time uh, and he's been 100% committed all the way through. Uh, even last week when he's getting calls from, from Baylor and, you know, some other schools, uh, you know, didn't even think about it, you know, and, and his parents were the same way. And he's one of those guys that's a humble kid. He's, his demeanor comes across as one of those guys you want to be around, so he's going to fit our locker room. Uh, our guys are going to absolutely love him, uh, and he's got a huge upside. Uh, you know, going, going back a year, you know, he was just having a, an ACL surgery uh, so he played his whole junior year, was a, was a really an extremely high, uh, highly recruited kid. Um, you know, had a, a, a bunch of offers, you know, even as a junior. Uh, and had an ACL surgery uh, early in basketball. Uh, you know, we stuck with him all the way through that, you know, and, and, and helped him and supported him through that. Uh, you know, where some other schools ended up falling off. But he got healthy through the summer, was able to play his whole senior year. Uh, had a great senior year. You could tell he was still, you know, laboring on a little bit and had some issues. But um, you know, overall, it was it was awesome to see him play and have so much success. You know, he was the uh, number one passer in the in the state of uh, Arizona. You know, set some records down there, which is big. There's a lot of quarterbacks that come out of Arizona now. So, uh, you know, he was the MVP of the Blue Gray All American Game in Oakland. Uh, so again, this is a this is a high level kid, and I think we're going to look back and. And uh, think about signing day and go, yes, thank God we got Chase Court. Okay, so uh, he's one of the, you know, again, he's a 6'3 quarterback, um, and he's got a huge upside. You know, he's only about 185 right now, uh, but, you know, when Coach Pitt gets a hold of him and, uh, you know, he's able to be in our strength program and get the food that he does, <coughs> nutrition, he's going to be a big kid, um, you know, NFL type body. Uh, he's got a big arm. He can throw it and make all the plays from the pocket. Uh, but the nice thing is he can he can really get out now and run. He I mean, he ran for over a thousand yards as a junior, not as much as a senior because again of the knee and his his head coach didn't want to run him as much to try to protect him a little bit. But uh, he can run. He can escape pressure, uh, and uh, you know it's one of those guys that can make a, a defense you know pay uh, even if the play doesn't work. He can kind of find ways to make it work. So. Um, Again, he's got a lot of upside. Uh, he's an accurate kid, uh, but really, what came across in recruiting with him uh, was his demeanor and, and just his, his humble nature. You know, and, and even through that ACL surgery, he did a good job with his team. Uh, you know, he was working youth camps. He was helping his backup quarterback getting ready for the season. Um, you know, I heard you know, a ton of stories from his parents and, and also his head coach. You know, about how. You know, much of a leader he was, even through some some tough times. And those are the type of guys we want on campus. So, uh, again, really excited about Chase, and uh, he'll be a an awesome addition to our program. Yeah, he's a stud. The other thing too with these quarterbacks now, you got Brett here, you got Rafe in here, and this guy didn't flinch. It's not always like that. You know, some guys at quarterback, they they kind of look at that, and they all want to know they're the guy coming in, and you know, he's just like, hey, do I get a chance to compete? Yep. That's all I want. And when you go into his room, so I went to his house, that was the last visit. The very last visit I had was with him to make sure we got him, all right? Which he was locked up, but going to his bedroom, we, we write these guys letters all the time. So they got, you know, hundreds of letters. Well, he's got them all pinned up around his room. So his wall, I mean, you walk in and you know, it's kind of a wall right here. You walk in, his bed's right over here. This whole wall is covered in these letters. And then you look up along the ceiling, there's every letter neatly placed, perfectly placed, all the way around the room. And so you walk in there, I'm like, all right, we're good. You know, <laughs> otherwise, he's going to have to take all this down. So, But, you know, that doesn't happen very often. And the relationship Coach Hill built with him, uh, all the staff, you know, he came up here a couple times, uh, and so we had a chance to be around him. But, you know, that's your quarterback. That's the type of guy you want. 
hey, I just want to compete. I'm all in. Um, along with Braden, now he was he was hitting everybody up and was connecting with those guys. So uh, really excited about him. Fantastic family. Uh, I got a chance to go see him during the season. I got a chance to watch him play. Uh, did a great job. Is a tough kid. Uh, didn't quite have the best protection at all times. And, you know, one of the number one things we talk about with quarterbacks is toughness. And he's throwing it and taking it right in the ribs and getting up and doing it again. And, and that's kind of him. He, he, he'll do that over and over and over. Uh, he's a tough kid. He understands his role as a quarterback now, too. And you got to pop back up and lead. So excited for him. Uh, 